Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, you can always feel free to jump into the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. Uh, if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So um, this is your love reading. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Like I said, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading why I lay these cards. Okay, so I'm going to take these in, also clarify them off uh, camera, and then I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. As uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always, you can always flip switch. Just whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so you're showing up as the Ace of Blade. And that's, it's, it's kind of what you're displaying. Um, it's more about the action that you've taken. It seems like you've taken some form of action or put a stop to something or made some form of move, um, which you feel is has been the solution or is the solution to something. Um, when it comes to this person, the problem is, is you're still very much drawn towards them. What's going on in the internally for you is that you're still very much attracted, highly attracted to them, very much drawn towards them. Um, this is stemming from something you've done in the past with this person, which has kind of brought you guys to where you're at at the moment. You're still kind of thinking about, you know, having an opportunity or what it's like or just an opportunity to create something new with this person but you're kind of pulling back on that on those feelings on those thoughts simply because i feel like this action this move that you've taken which you feel has been the solution to something is stemming from the past we've got the shadow the shadow card um coming up i feel like this is due to you experiencing having experienced something with someone else which maybe has displayed itself in this person and their actions in some way shape or form and then that's what you kind of cause is uh, how do i put that that's what's kind of caused you to make this move or take this action uh, which you feel hence uh, it's been a solution to something uh, your person your person your per let me just do that one second guys one second Perfect, lovely. Your person is, you know, I feel like for a lot of you, it's a separation. Uh, for some of you, it's you pulling back from this person, but for a lot of you, it's a separation. They're showing up as, you know, they're feeling like they've, they, you know, they, they're going for a loss. They've, they've taken a hit. You know, there's a loss there for them, you know, because this is someone, this is someone, you're someone for them, you know, and the connection in the relationship where they, 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 you know, they see it as having been emotionally fulfilled. There was fulfillment there for them. So, so right now it's like they're kind of trapped in their head with that eight of swords, not know what to, to think, not sure what to do. Um, feeling like a decision's haven't been made or has been made by you. And that's kind of just weighing really heavy on them, weighing really heavy on them as much as they want to come towards you. There is this um, hesitation there, this hesitation there. Like I said, it's coming from what's happened in the past. This person, I feel like there's some form of information. And again, it's, it's it, it, we've got the Hierophant card there. When we're talking about the Hierophant card, we're talking about higher knowledge, wisdom. Um, but that wisdom is through um, uh, life experience. That wisdom is through, um, you know, material resources for instance books or knowledge or you know conversations that you've had with people where with the high priestess the high priestess is about divine awareness that type of thing this is more about earthly knowledge 
they've experienced something this is you <laughs> you've experienced something that has um like i said this person's triggered you in some way they have maybe acted in a certain way that's caused you to say okay i recognize this from the past i'm gonna take swift action and not let this get out of hand um hence the putting your foot down hence you pulling back hence you for a lot of you you've kind of broken up with this person separated yourself and you feel justified in doing that as well like i said it's coming from a, a place of having experienced someone else but what that's done is it's caused this person to feel like their world has cr come crashing down you know because i will say this uh, gemini i will say this this person definitely was serious or is um, you know, seeing you as the three of pentacles, thinking about this situation as the three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, partnership, emotionally mature about this. And actually having that empress card speaks about wanting to create birth something. So that's kind of come crashing down for them due to your actions. Effectively, the, your actions are due to their actions. So it's this weird kind of back and forth thing that's going on here, which... <clears throat> excuse me which is usually kind of the case anyway in relationships you kind of bounce off of each other's stuff let's say that but they they felt like the world has come crashing down feeling disappointed feeling like they're you know just focusing on yeah just feeling disappointed really when really they're wanting to just kind of move ahead with you with that chariot card there but but not knowing how things are going to work out not knowing how to feel not knowing how to to think which brings us to back to this hesitation here. Um, they feel like you've got your boundaries up. You kind of have, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of have. That's how they are seeing you. This is how they're thinking about you, the Queen of Swords, boundaries up, guarded, that type of thing, when really they want to communicate, get back closer emotionally with you. But you're like, I tell you something, and I think this is, this might, this, this has my, this has my, if I can speak, this might have thrown you, um, Gemini, simply because as much as you feel like you're justified in taking those actions, there's still feelings there. There's still ideas of what could this be? I'm still drawn to this person, feel very much attracted to this person. Yes, outside of what they've done, whatever it is that they've done, there is still positive aspects to this person. They have brought something into my, into my world, into my life. And then we've got the Magician card, which speaks about manifestation, having the resources to make something happen. So, yeah, I mean, you know, <clears throat> where does this move to? Where does this move to the actions that you've taken due to, you know, protecting yourself ultimately, Gemini? It's more about protecting yourself. You've experienced something that might have not, well, definitely hasn't turned out well for you, but might have caused a lot of you to end up being in a mentally and emotionally space that wasn't healthy for you so it's like you're very cautious you're very much first sign of red uh, flags it's psh, psh, that type of thing um put your foot down that's it it's a wrap but i feel like you might be a bit rash when it comes to this person um simply just based on how it plays out which we're going to get into now which is linked in the uh, in the description bar below guys so i shall see you guys in a bit 